play a vital role in the development and testing of new drugs. They use their knowledge of chemistry to understand how drugs interact with the body, their structure and properties, and how they can be synthesized. This information helps to develop safer and more effective drugs, reducing the risks of side effects and improving patient outcomes. Moreover, chemistry helps us to understand food chemistry, which is essential in ensuring the safety and quality of our food. Chemists analyze food for its nutritional content, potential contaminants, and chemicals that may be harmful to human health. This information helps to regulate food safety and ensure that we consume food that is safe and healthy. Water, another important aspect of human life, is also analyzed and treated by chemists. They develop new technologies for purifying water, improving access to clean drinking water in many parts of the world. By understanding the chemical composition of water and its interactions with contaminants, chemists can develop more efficient and cost-effective methods for water treatment. Additionally, chemistry has contributed significantly to the production of materials that are used in our daily lives. Plastics, for example, are widely used in packaging, construction, and transportation. Chemists develop new types of plastics that are biodegradable and can reduce the amount of plastic waste that ends up in landfills or oceans. They also research new recycling methods to improve the environmental impact of plastics and other materials. As we continue to face global challenges such as climate change and environmental degradation, chemistry will continue to play a crucial role in our response to these issues. Chemists will need to develop sustainable solutions that meet the needs of present and future generations. This means developing technologies that reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, minimize waste production, and protect our environment. Chemistry has also made significant contributions to the field of forensic science. Forensic chemistry is the application of science to legal situations and involves the analysis of physical evidence found at crime scenes. Forensic chemists use their knowledge of chemistry to analyze substances such as blood, drugs, and fibers, and to identify trace elements that can be used to link a suspect to a crime. One example of the importance of forensic chemistry is in the analysis of drug evidence. Forensic chemists use chemical tests to determine the identity and purity of drugs found at crime scenes. This information can be used to determine the severity of drug offenses and to help law enforcement agencies to identify drug trafficking networks. Another example is the use of forensic chemistry in fire investigation. Forensic chemists analyze fire debris to identify the presence of accelerants such as gasoline or kerosene. This information can be used to determine the cause of a fire and to identify potential suspects. One final area where chemistry is having a significant impact is in the development of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology involves the manipulation of materials on a molecular or atomic scale and has the potential to revolutionize numerous industries. Chemists play a vital role in the development of new nanomaterials and their applications. One example of the use of nanotechnology is in the development of new drug delivery systems. Nanoparticles can be used to carry drugs to specific cells or tissues in the body, increasing their efficacy and reducing side effects. Additionally, Nanotechnology is being used in the development of new diagnostic tools that can detect diseases at an early stage and monitor their progression. Another area where nanotechnology is making a difference is in the development of new materials with unique properties and functions. For example, nanomaterials can be used to create sensors that can detect pollutants in the environment or monitor the structural integrity of buildings and bridges. Chlorination, an affordable water disinfectant. Chlorination, an affordable water disinfectant. Access to safe drinking water is crucial for maintaining good health. 
However, clean water is not a luxury that is available to every individual worldwide. There are several ways to ensure that drinking water is safe, with chlorination being one of the most popular water disinfectants. Chlorination is a process that involves adding a specific amount of chlorine to water to kill various disease-causing microorganisms. This article discusses the effectiveness of chlorination as a water disinfectant, its cost-effectiveness, and the challenges associated with its implementation. Chlorination effectively controls a range of waterborne diseases. These diseases are caused by bacteria, protozoa, and viruses found in water. Cholera, typhoid fever, dysentery, and hepatitis are some of the diseases caused by these microorganisms, which can be prevented by adding chlorine to water. Chlorine is a strong oxidant that kills microorganisms present in water. In fact, it was first used as a water disinfectant in the late 1800s to help control outbreaks of cholera and typhoid fever. Chlorine is used worldwide to effectively prevent various waterborne illnesses. In addition to its effectiveness, chlorination is cost-effective. The cost of adding chlorine to water is much less than that of alternative disinfection methods. Moreover, chlorine is much easier to transport and distribute than some of the alternative disinfectants. Chlorine is easily accessible and affordable in many parts of the world. A small amount of chlorine added to a large volume of water can significantly improve its quality. The effectiveness of chlorination as a disinfectant is dependent on the concentration of chlorine added to the water. The World Health Organization, WHO, recommends a concentration of 0.5 to 1 mg L of chlorine in drinking water. However, the amount of chlorine added to water depends on various factors, such as water temperature, pH, and sunlight intensity. Too little chlorine may not be sufficient for proper disinfection, while excessive chlorine can cause unpleasant odors and tastes. Despite its effectiveness and cost-effectiveness, there are some challenges associated with the implementation of chlorination. One of the main challenges is the availability of trained personnel to operate and maintain the chlorination systems. The machines that add chlorine to water need proper maintenance to ensure that they are functioning correctly. The equipment should also be frequently inspected to ensure that it is adding the proper amount of chlorine to the water. Moreover, the personnel should be trained to perform regular water quality tests to ensure that the chlorine concentration is adequate and that the water is safe for consumption. Another challenge is the availability of infrastructure and resources to support the implementation of chlorination systems. Facilities such as water treatment plants are required to add chlorine to water on a large scale. These facilities need a considerable amount of resources and infrastructure to operate effectively. The infrastructure includes piping systems, storage tanks, and proper disposal methods for chlorine waste. Furthermore, facilities are needed for personnel to conduct regular water quality tests and maintain the equipment. Aside from its challenges, several measures can be taken to encourage the implementation of chlorination systems. Education campaigns can help to increase the awareness and understanding of the importance of water quality and the benefits of chlorination. Community leaders can advocate for the implementation of chlorination systems within their communities. Governments can play a significant role in providing funding to support and promote the implementation of chlorination systems. Moreover, chlorination systems are versatile and can be used in various settings, including households, schools, hospitals, and industries. In households, adding chlorine tablets to water storage containers can be an effective way to disinfect water.